Hello everyone, my name is Arvin47 and in this video we're going to be making the mushroom chocolates. Now here's everything you're going to need to make the mushroom chocolates. We got the chocolate right here. This is a uh, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. So we're going to do two bars. And then we got uh, our molds that we're going to be pouring our chocolates in. A double boiler. But what this basically is, basically is uh, you put water right here in the pot, like about to this level. And then the bowl on top is not touching the water, but the steam itself is going to melt the chocolate. I'll show you guys how to do that in a bit. And then we also got a face mask because when we grind up our fruits, uh, the powder basically it goes into the air and you don't want to be breathing in uh, mushroom air. And you're also going to need a coffee grinder to grind up your fruits. And last but not least, your fruits. This is about like 12 grams of fruit that's going to go into these two bars. All right. All right, so the first step is you want to take your fruits and then just put them in the in the grinder. If they don't fit, just break them up. Make sure you have your face mask on. I'll have more right now, but as you can see, I got the fruits in there. And now what I'm going to do, just hold it up. I want to get it to as fine as a powder as you can and as you guys see as I'm about to lift up the then you can see the smoke kind of misting out that's why it's highly recommended to wear a mask <laughs> not because of coronavirus but because you don't want to be snorting all this mushroom dust like a little blob Yoink. I can already tell it's gonna be a good batch of chocolates it smells like a good batch of chocolates Alright, so I'm going to basically grind this to a fine powder. Um, next step will be to start melting your chocolate. Alright guys, so from here, I got my dough board. And then now we just add our chocolate. I like to break it up into small, small little pieces. Oops, I think I dropped one. Don't worry, it should be good. The floor is pretty clean anyway. That was a five second rule right there. Oh, and I also forgot you want to get like a spoon or something to mix it with. Like a normal spoon will work. Hang on, let me show you guys how it looks. As you guys see, just like and like move it around so you like different so the chocolates that aren't touching the the whatever the, the sides can melt as well. Yeah, we'll come back when this thing is fully melted. And then we'll add the the mushroom powder to it. We'll mix it up, pour into the molds, put the molds in the refrigerator, and refrigerate until they're ready to come out the molds. And then we'll put them in tin foil to storm, and that'll be the video. All right, so the chocolate is nice and melted. Now the next step would be to add the fruits. Let me get them out of the. Add this first. And then we just get the we mix this powder up. Mm -hmm. From here, you kind of want to work quickly and pour them into the mold. So I'm just have the camera set up right here. Mix the molds, kind of. That'll be the next angle. I'll point it out for you guys right now. All right, there you go. So from here, just keep on incorporating the the mushroom powder. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a dank batch right here. Pretty good. I want to see how many chocolates I can actually get out of this one. All right, so. I use two 3.5 ounce bars, so 200 grams of chocolate right here. And we use about like 12 grams of fruit. All right, there it's ready. Take it off the heat. Oh, I forgot it's kind of hot. Hang on, let me get a, an oven mitt real quick. All right. 
Alright, so now we're ready to pour. So from here, just get the... Hang on, I put on the wrong hand. I'm supposed to put on the left hand. I forgot I'm on left hand dominant. Alright, so from here, just find your mold that you want, like this one. Fill her up. Now, some people don't even use molds. Some people just, um, they basically, I don't want to say half acid, but they basically just like put like tin foil, put it on tin foil basically. Alright. I'm kind of doing a sloppy job, but right now I'll go and refine it. Re redistribute the chocolate evenly. Looks like I'm getting about four. It's kind of hard to see, but and then we'll do what the it looks like we're gonna have a personal fifth one. By personal, I mean a little dosage because I'm not gonna eat one of whole these, a whole one of these. That's asking for ego, an ego dissolution, ego death, or whatever they call it. I'm gonna have to lick all this. Alright, so that's as much as it will go. Let me take out my oven mitt. Now from here, what you want to do. Well, what I'm going to do right now is, uh, I'll do it for you guys. I'm going to even out the molds. Like so. And the best part about this process is that we get to lick the spoon. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, put some more over there. More right here. You get the you get the picture though. Just trying to clean up the chocolates. Okay. This is hard to do with one hand. <laughs> Alright, so that's about it. Looks about right. Looks about right. Now from here what I like to do, I like to cover it in tinfoil and put it in the fridge. Preferably the freezer. Makes the, the process go a lot by a lot faster. I'll come back once these are ready to pop out of the molds. Alright, so our chocolates are basically done. Now from here, what you want to do is get a piece of tin for about yay big. I think I overdid it, but whatever. And then you fold it in half like this. And then you cut out into squares like this. And then I'm going to get the chocolates and wrap them in the tin foil. Alright, and here they are. Hang on, let me pop one out for you guys. And then what you do, you grab a foil, lay it on the back. And there you have it. Look, it doesn't look so happy. And it's kind of hard to tell. Lay out from here, what you want to do is just wrap it up. And then store it back in the fridge, in the freezer, in a plastic bag or something. Alright, I'm going to do the rest of the chocolates off camera, and then that'll be the video. Alright guys, so I have these uh, those sandwich bags, the full top ones, and what I do is I just put them in there, like so. You can put two in a bag, it's up to you, I'll just do them individually, like so. You kind of want to like, because you're going to tie a knot on it, like so. Kind of tricky to do, and but with some practice, you'll get something like that. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm making the uh, mushroom chocolates. Uh, I'm gonna store these in the fridge and then eat them later or something or whenever. All right, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love yourself, love your friends, and love your family. I'll see you guys in the next one.